as we mature and as we develop familiarity with our heavenly home and the heavenly surroundings, the heavenly atmospheres, and our what used to be a difficult transition from earthly perspective to heavenly perspective, in the beginning it takes some corralling of our mind, it takes some establishing of, of what does the Word say? What does the Word of God say? What can I do? Because obviously we only want to do what's in the Word. And so uh, that takes some retraining. Faith comes by hearing. And the more I hear it, the more I take captive every thought subject it to what Jesus' obedience on the cross accomplished for me, then the more I can traverse or travel in these areas with ease. In the beginning, a little more difficult because I have to take captive every thought and I have to find new tracks to run on. As we're going along, that becomes more not just easy, but it becomes more default. In other words, it's just where I am at the beginning rather than trying to have to get there somehow. And that's a little bit of what you're talking about, Teresa. Is this is all the time. In fact, let's just put a couple verses in here. Ephesians 2.6 says that we're seated with Christ in heavenly places. Colossians 3.3 3 says, For you have died and your life now is hidden with Christ in God. So that puts us in the heavenly places. Sadly, we didn't know much about that before. But it's becoming more clear. More, we're getting more revelated. <laughs> we're getting revelation about the reality of this. As a result, what I believe God's desire is, is that we find ourselves more in heaven than we do in earth. Our orientation, our perspective, our mindset is one of being based in heaven more than being based on earth. Now, thank God for my soul and my body, which have housed and carried my spirit and given my spirit a place to call home for these 66 years. But the truth is my spirit man is bigger than my body. And it's older than my body. It's more real than my body. And so if I could come into the reality of my spirit man and what my spirit man is experiencing, I believe with all of my heart, and I think scripture bears this out, that the reality, the expanse of reality that is available to us is much greater than this temporal world and temporal realm. And so this transition is a very exciting travel or trek or a, a journey we're on because it's going to open us up to frontiers that will razzle-dazzle us and will unlock the latent and dormant DNA factors that have been waiting us. You know, like the groaning of creation, waiting for sons of God to manifest on the earth to set us all free into the glorious liberty of the saints. That's Romans 8. Oh, that touches my heart deeply as I'm just saying it at this moment. That groaning is just all pressing. It's all pushing. It's all yearning to come forth in us. And as Romans 8 says, even to come, uh, it's pressing or groaning to come forth even in creation. So, in the beginning, it takes some mental hoops and gymnastics and corralling and uh, lassoing in some stray thoughts, you know, and bringing them in under subjection to, you get it. But after a while, it's becoming more default. So for some of us, this is probably still a little bit of a stretch, and others of us, it's like, Mark, do we have to go back and 
relay the elementary teachings <laughs> like Paul said you know let us not go back and have to redo all the elementary teachings of laying on our hands and raising dead and you know like come on <laughs> so anyway what I'd like to do today is just a real quick overview of the uh, uh, elementary things of can my body and soul be subjected to my spirit and be brought into sync with my spirit man's experience in inside of the spirit of God and I think the answer is fully yes so if you're uh, of that mind let's just step into that just a little bit I'm gonna pray a little bit and if you'd like to tag team on that just step right into it okay Father, we just felt those stirrings a few moments ago. The dreams of your heart that have been waiting to be embraced by your people. You've waited for the time to share them. Like Jesus said, I have so many things to tell you, but you couldn't bear them back then. But I believe you're finding fertile soil good ground, eager hearts to embrace a world that's bigger than what just our eyes alone can see. Oh, this is dazzling, fascinating, captivating. It's pulling us. It's pulling us into higher grounds, te higher territories. Realities that even though we know very little about it with our, with our pre-K, pre-kindergarten minds right now, somehow it's still causing our spirit man to leap within us. Maybe something akin to what John the Baptist experienced in Elizabeth's womb when Jesus was in close proximity. Oh, we feel that stirring. Something says, yes, I want to come into my full inheritance. I want to step into who I really am. Jesus, we say yes to this path, to these tracks that you're laying out in front of us. Today, Jesus, we want to just speak to our spirit man. Oh, you're doing so good, my spirit man. You're doing so good at awakening my soul and even corralling my body, bringing them into wholeness and right order. My spirit man, I bless you with full leadership, strength of authority, courage and boldness to stand up tall and strong under the strength of the Lord and the power of His might and the direction of Holy Spirit Himself. I bless you, my spirit, to take leadership, even dominance, over my soul, which is my mind, will, and emotions. In my, my mind, will, and emotions, I bless you now to be good responders, good partners. Yes, to come into good complementary relationship with my spirit man, my mind to begin to pull up truths and remember things that have been put back in the file cabinets of learning and set there for a time maybe just like this. And we bless you, my mind, to respond well, to give supportive documentation, to be a good intuitive uh, uh, indicator, to be a good... Uh, 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 deductive uh, reasoner and bring things to the plate, bring things back up on the table so that our full being can embrace the truth and the word for the day. My soul man, including my emotions, I bless you now to be a good responder with strong emotions as long as they're in keeping with the emotions of God. As long as they support and strengthen, bolster, what my spirit man and the spirit of God are indicating to do. We bless you in Jesus' name. My, my will, I bless you as you're bathed now 
with the very Spirit of God that your uh, stirrings, the directives, the various inclinations that come out of my will will be those that are have been bathed fully, marinated completely with the thoughts of God. And I find my will easily, uh, very easily and predictably, consistently coming up with good indicators, good directives, good initiatives. And Lord, I just bless my soul now. And I speak lovingly and affirmatively over my soul. You're going to do this well. You're going to support now the kingdom of God, the spirit of God. You're going to support my spirit man. And you're going to do very well with that. You're going to be a great team player. I bless my body now. I thank you, body, for doing very well for most of my life of being a good host to carry me in this temporal world and temporal realm. I thank you and I bless you. But today we're beginning to set new parameters and new directives that even on the cellular level, new cells that begin to emerge will emerge under a new regime, a regime of the kingdom realities that don't go from death to death. They don't go in the death cycle, but rather they go from life to more life to more life, just even as we believe from glory to glory. We speak that over you, my cells, that you don't age, you don't tire, you don't weary, you don't wear down, you don't grow old, you don't die. You come into youthfulness because they that wait up on the Lord shall renew their strength. And a few other verses that come along very, very consistently with that theme. I bless you, my body, my systems, to be made whole and complete, strengthened and strong, walking up on your high places walking authoritatively and victoriously. I bless you, my body. You're going to do awesome at this. Yes, you're going to set some new patterns, establish some new ways, raise the bar of experience on the face of the earth for humanity as a whole. I bless you, my body, and those under the sound of my voice and many others across the earth who are coming into this same revelation. We bless you now to come into eternal life, immortality, everlasting life, to come into that in fullness, in full understanding, full expression of it. Yes, setting a new bar, a new way, a new height. We bless you, my body, in Jesus' name. Now, all these things coming into alignment and where was that alignment established? Where my spirit is. And where's my spirit? With the spirit of God, hidden with Christ in God, seated with Jesus in heavenly places. So, ha, aha, that means I'm in the heavenlies. And I didn't even have to jump through any hoops to get there. So, Lord Jesus, we love being with you. We soak it in. We receive it in. We embrace, ingest, imbibe, drink it in. You said, oh, taste and see that you are good. So I just taste you today. <clears throat> I breathe you in today. Jesus breathed on his disciples and they were filled with the Holy Spirit. We breathe you in today. Oh, we let you just uh, fully encompass us. Just like I put this shirt on this morning and it feels good, it fits good. Makes me, it enhances the me. It enhances me. So Jesus, we not only put you on on the outside, but we see you 
emerging from the inside. Oh, Jesus, one of these days, all of these truths that we've been speaking will be so default, so normal, so without having to even think about it. It will just be so real. Oh, Lord, and this will be our starting place at every moment of the day. It will be from this oneness, this union with God, that we have our starting place every moment of the day. It's in you we live and move and have our being. You're so good, Jesus. This feels so good. It just feels so good, Jesus, <laughs> to come into these oneness places, these oneness understandings, these oneness realities with you. It just feels right. It feels like I was made for this, and I was. And you thought it all up. You dreamed it all up. Jesus, you're amazing. Father, ha, I don't think we got enough accolades for you. You're just better than we ever expected. And Holy Spirit, you're just behind the scenes doing your magic all the time. Doing your wonders, your miracles to perform making Jesus look famous all the time. We love what you do. We love being with you. Today, uh, just as we do every time, and it's getting more and more consistent through every moment of the day, like Teresa mentioned earlier, we can do this all the time. Any moment, any situation. And pretty soon, it doesn't take a lot of thoughts. It just happens. This is too good. Too good. But real good. Thank you, Jesus. Anyway.